To the race for LA City Mayor Rick Caruso, spending a record $40 million of his own money on his campaign. He is facing stiff competition tonight from Congresswoman Karen Bass and LA City Councilmember Kevin DeLeon. If someone gets more than 50% of the vote tonight, he or she wins. If not, the top two will face each other in November. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is live at the Grove tonight, where Rick Caruso will be watching the returns come in. Hi, Tom. Hi there, Susie. Yeah, not a bad place to watch the returns come in, right? The Grove, of course, this is one of Caruso's most iconic properties. He will be taking that podium just behind me here at the Grove. Probably the next hour sometime, we're told around 845. We'll have to keep you posted on that. Earlier today, he was in Boyle Heights, casting his ballot there. As he said, he spent a lot of money in this race so far, $40 million. He said he did so because he needed to get his name out there. And when he started out, not a lot of people knew who he was compared to other candidates who have been in the public eye for a long time. So he said he needed to spend that money. Just to give you a sense of how much more he spent than his closest competitor, Karen Bass, well, she spent about $3.2 million on this race so far. So that just gives you a sense of the huge differential on the spending in this campaign. Crusoe also picking up some impressive endorsements in terms of celebrity endorsements. Snoop Dogg, Sweet Alice Harris, uh, and also the Kardashians <laughs> endorsing him as well. We'll see if that really makes any impact. That's just to name a few. And Crusoe really saying that he's proud of his campaign so far, starting out at just 6% in the polls. And he says now being you know pretty much neck and neck with Congresswoman Karen Bass. He feels pretty good about where he stands at this point. We'll, of course, bring you any updates and his comments when they happen. Reporting live in the Fairfax District at The Grove, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you. All right, Tom, thank you so much. And now to Hollywood, where Karen Bass